You see, in your spirit, you've been designed to want more. Not in a covetous way just for material kinds of things, but, but uh, we're never really satisfied in God. And when we live in the land of promise and we're still strangers, we make it very clear by this, oh, this is great, but no cigar. Um, I want, I want. By that kind of lifestyle, always looking for more, always looking for better, we make it clear that our ultimate destiny, the focus of our life, is not trying to find a city on this earth whose architect are human beings but rather to find a city whose architect is, is God. And He wants more for each of us. I believe that with all of my heart. It's not just a lucky few. It's all of us. And I know now I'm to the really rude part. It is a profoundly convenient theory that many people have and here it is. Oh, well. There's a few who are really called to ministry to, you know, really make a difference. And I'm not one of them. Where on earth in this book do you get such a theory? But it's really convenient. Because I don't have to ever come to a place and say, Hmm. Hmm. I'm not making the kind of impact that she's making. I wonder why. Because with my theory, I can just say, well, we're not called the same. And could it be that one of the primary stumbling points in our, in our perception is that rather than realizing I'm like a, I am a, what am I? I am a, a, <laughs> let me step over here and see if it gets any better. Yeah. I am a pent up ball of ministry. <laughs> that sounds scary, doesn't it? I don't mean it to be like, oh my goodness, what happened to you? Looks like you got plugged into a socket. But I did. Okay, I know it's getting corny, but I'm plugged in to the Savior of humanity. I'm plugged into the one who died on the cross because of the joy that was set before him of what he could see of all the recovery that would come to people. I'm plugged into the one who didn't stay in the position that he was in. He humbled himself and came all the way down to the stinky earth. I'm plugged into him. him. And I gotta touch somebody. Oh, that was great, Lord. Could you do it again? Why? Praise the Lord. Praise the I'm just a piece of copper wire. And all the charge is when you touch this end of the copper wire to somebody else.